We're at Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia. P.J. Stevens for the Ole Miss Rebels about to kick off to Georgia. Back deep for the dogs is number 36, Carney Norris. And number 23, Keith Montgomery, the freshman. Montgomery at the six. Montgomery at the 25. Montgomery still up. and get his first action in front of the home crowd at Sanford Stadium. The Georgia backfield, Lastinger, Young, and Herschel Walker. Now you see the offensive line for the Dogs. It's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. The I formation. You give it to Barry Young on the first play from scrimmage, and he gets about three yards. Defensively for Ole Miss, it's Kennedy Seymour Townsend, who was in on that stop, and Freddie Nunn. The linebackers for Cade, Williams, Hubbard, and Armstrong. Now the secondary, Brown, Burrow, and Wilburn. Second down and about seven for the Dogs. Lastinger's got the football. He's across the 40, has the first down at the 46-yard line. First and 10. Now they marked it back on the 45-yard line. Give to Barry Young. He's across midfield down to the 48 of Ole Miss. Second down and four for the Dogs. Just inside Mississippi territory. Barry Young's out the football at the 35. The 25, 15, and is brought down at the three-yard line. Johnny Armstrong had to go get him. Georgia knocking on the door. And the pitch to Walker, and Herschel Walker scores. Herschel Walker goes... Four yards is what they'll officially give him. And Georgia goes up by a touchdown. Kevin Butler comes in and kicks the extra point good. So with 13 minutes and 13 seconds left in the first quarter, it's Georgia seven, Ole Miss nothing. It's Ten years. Butler's kick is out of the end zone. Ole Miss will bring it out. Skip Lane, or rather Kent Austin, the quarterback number five. Well, Kent's side. Uh... Really a good player. He's a good athlete. Can row, throw on the run, and set up in the pocket, which uh, will really help their offense. Just as for Cade. And the pitch out goes to Andre Thomas. Five yards. It'll be second down. Austin, the quarterback. Cooper and Humphrey, the backfield for Ole Miss. The receivers, Harmon, Harbor, and Smith. Then you've got Phoenix, Dalton, Herring, Allen, and Shaw on the offensive line. Handoff goes to Cooper. A lot of shifting, a lot of motion, trying to get set and trying to catch Georgia's split six defense off guard. And here is some of that defense. You're seeing now the linebackers, Forge Thurston and Terry Hogue, who has intercepted five passes and leads that Georgia secondary, which is the best in the nation. It is third down and about two yards to go. Austin, the quarterback, they put a man in motion. Now the pitch out comes to Thomas. I haven't seen a pass yet from Austin. And the handoff to Thomas. Thomas at the 35. He is stacked up there. It is second down and six. Second and six for Mississippi. Now they shift another man back in the backfield in Austin's first pass of the day. And it's knocked up in the air and Hogue is intercepted. Hogue at the 40. Terry Hogue, the nation's best interceptor this season. Finally brought down by Austin. Looked to be Crow tipping the pass, now Lastinger. And it is incomplete. There is a marker on the play. Exceptions off the deflections. One was disallowed, but like both. Lastinger gives to Walker. Herschel Walker to the 31-yard line. Play second down for the Dogs. They give it to Herschel again, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage and knocked back. Herschel stopped at the 35 by Brian Kennedy. Third down and five. Lastinger's pass is incomplete around the 20-yard line. Kevin Butler comes in to attempt a 46-yard field goal. Jim Broadway, the holder. The kick is up plenty far enough. And the kick is good. 
Kevin Butler kicks it from 46 yards out, and Georgia has taken a 10-0 aid on Ole Miss with nine minutes and 26 seconds left in the first quarter. Second down and six after a four-yard gain. Kent Austin, 48 out of 85 passes. Pretty good. Now they bring it back here. And Charlie Dean, an extra defensive back, now into the football game in the Georgia secondary. Austin pumps once. Now he's got a man set up here on the screen. He's at the 45, down to the 40, got the first down for Mississippi. Good call, Buck. First and 10, Mississippi, just shy of the 40. Kent Austin looking, and he's got his man at the 23-yard line. And the handoff goes to Humphrey. Second and 10. Austin, Austin's pass is intercepted at the 12-yard line by Ronnie Harris. At the dog 12, a give to Herschel, Walker across the 15 and corralled at the 16-yard line. He's 6'1", 235 pounds. Harry Young, the fullback, and Walker, the tailback, and they pitch to Walker and Herschel out of bounds at the 21-yard line. The fake to Herschel and Lastinger, and he's got the first down at the 25. First and 10, Georgia. Herschel. Herschel explodes at the 35. At the 40, Herschel down at the 44-yard line. Is he fun to watch or what? Now Lastinger on the keeper to the 50-yard line. All right, second down for Georgia at the four. Barry Young goes into the middle with a flag on the play. Well, Herschel Walker gets a standing ovation from the crowd of 82,000. Second and nine for Georgia at the 45-yard line. Lastinger, quick pass is batted down at the line of scrimmage by Johnny Armstrong. Well, I don't know. I'd much rather be handing off to him. Third down and nine. Third and nine, and they give to Walker. And he's going to be stopped at midfield, way short of the first down. Broadway's first punt. Plenty of time as they have the return on. Beautiful high kick. Going to be fair caught at the eight-yard line. We have a new quarterback for Mississippi. Number six is Kelly Powell, a new quarterback in for the Ole Miss Rebels as they trail 10-0 with a minute two left in the first quarter. The handoff to Andre Thomas. Georgia stacks him up around the 10, Vince Dooley's football team. And the handoff is to Thomas again. That is the end of the first quarter at Sanford Stadium. Georgia leading Ole Miss by the score of 10-0. The Bulldogs leading Ole Miss 10-0. Kelly Powell, the new quarterback, in for Ole Miss on a third down and four yards to go. And they give off to Thomas. Thomas at the 30, at the 35, and more. First and 10 at the 36. Movement in the Mississippi backfield. Play is still alive as Thomas tackled by Terry Hogue. Illegal motion to climb. Now, like we said earlier, they're going to have a lot of motion, a lot of movement like the Cowboys, and that time everybody was in the, in the action. Bowles' pass is complete at the 40-yard line to Kenny Hooper. Always shifting that backfield around. Powell. Good rush on Powell. And he throws it. It's complete at the 40. 35-30. And knocked down at the 27 or 8-yard line for Mississippi trailing 10-0 here early in the second quarter. Thomas. Thomas bust for a couple of yards. Powell. Roseanne incomplete at the 25-yard line. Which we need on a big drive. Third down and nine. Powell back. Over the middle complete for a first down. And now he's at the 10-yard line goes Michael Harmon. First and goal at the 10 or just inside the 10. Tom Thomas. 
And a good run down to the four. Second down and four. The fake to Hooper. Powell looking into the end zone. Intercepted by Sanchez. Jeff Sanchez. Receiver and overthrew him pretty bad. Back to live action. They pitch out to Herschel Walker. Otis and Freddie Nunn. Now at fullback is Chris McCarthy. Now Lastinger's looking to the side, and he's got his man at the 32-yard line, but there's a marker on the play for the official to call it. Holding against Georgia. to see. Lastinger back on second and 16. Passes to McCarthy, and he's out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Lastinger. John Lastinger gets the pass away, and it's incomplete. Intended for Clarence K around the 34-yard line, but no Broadway, returns. Broadway no returns. does not allow those returns. He's got a beauty here. Oh, he knocks it back to the 25-yard line. And that's where Michael Harmon picked it up here in the second quarter. Georgia leading 10 zip. Austin looking incomplete around the three. Number 90 will kick it from the 17-yard line, a 27-yard attempt. The kick is up, and the kick is good. A knuckleball kind of kick, and it goes through for the first score of the afternoon by Ole Miss. And Colonel Rebels real happy with that score. Todd Gatlin, leading score on the Rebel team last year. First and 10 at the Bulldog 40-yard line. Once again, Ole Miss shifting around. Continue to move right up to the time the ball is snapped. Austin got a man open and dropped at the 33. I believe it. Austin oh. looking deep on the fly, and it is caught. It is caught and out of bounds at the 11-yard line by Michael Harmon. Was first and 10 at the 11, trailing by a touchdown. Thomas hit at the line of scrimmage. Tommy Thurston. The Austin, Austin, fires over for the screen pass, incomplete, lots of pressure applied by Terry Holder. Third down and nine at the 10-yard line. They can make a first down. Mississippi could make a first down. Here's the pass, lofted, touchdown. Michael Harmon in the corner of the end zone, one of those pattern passes where you throw to the spot. Gatlin kicks it up. And Gatlin kicks it good. All the score with a minute and three seconds left in this football game. Georgia 10, Ole Miss 10. Standing on their goal line. This one goes to Montgomery at the four. Keith Montgomery, the speedster from Stevens County here in Georgia, is knocked down at the 17-yard line. Georgia does not have a first down this quarter, and I believe it goes way back into the first quarter when they did have one. Herschel Walker, 65 yards now for Herschel. And they give it to Walker. Herschel Walker, 40. First down to the 45-yard line. Joe Hall making the stop. First and 10, Georgia, 10-10, 35 seconds left. Dogs at the 45-yard line. Lastinger looking over the middle, and it is complete at the Mississippi 43-yard line goes well, Georgia's in the hurry-up offense, trying to utilize the, time, the sideline here. Lastinger looks deep, and it is out of bounds. Second down and 10. Lastinger across the middle, and incomplete intended for Chuck Jones at the 20. Completed only two passes. Lastinger. This one is incomplete at the 30. A 60-yarder, Buck. This would be his longest. Kevin Butler. He gets it away. It is long it. enough, it. and it's good. Oh, Unbelievable. It. it is good. Unbelievable kick. No time left as Kevin Butler has just kicked the longest field goal of his career, 60 yards. Fricks is the center there congratulating his buddy. As you yes. see it come in, Georgia leads Mississippi with that field goal, 13 to 10. We will be back with more at halftime.
Georgia kicking off with a three-point lead. Butler's kick, five yards in to the end zone, is Austin. Powell has also seen some action at quarterback from Mississippi, but this is Kent Austin. Hooper is the fullback. And they swing it out here to James Harbor. Fumble on the play. Georgia has recovered the football. The ball was stripped out of his hand by Jimmy Payne. Early in the third quarter with the ball on the 24-yard line, they give it to Walker, and Herschel Walker is loose and fumbles. Walker fumbles, but Georgia has recovered at the seven. Four turnovers to Georgia's none. First and 10, Georgia. First and goal. Georgia at the eight-yard line. First and goal. Herschel Walker. Herschel to the three. Mark for the afternoon here early in the third quarter. His best day of the season last week when he got 215. He tried to go airborne. On that tight play, and that's what they did. Here we go. Lastinger looking. Throws it into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown to Norris Brown, number 88. And Georgia has gotten a touchdown off the turnover. He the turnover and then capitalized right away. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Georgia on top now of Mississippi early in the third quarter by the score of 20 to 10. Minute, uh, nine minutes, 13 seconds left third quarter. First and 10, Georgia on the 19-yard line. John Lastinger. Complete pass and out of bounds at the 28-yard line to Kevin Harris. And it gets some attention away from Herschel Walker. And they give it to Barry Young, and Barry Young's got the first down. Plenty more at the 39-yard line. Eight minutes, 50 seconds left, third quarter. Walker hit and dropped after a yard gain at the 40. Second down, nine yards to go as Lastinger looks for a receiver over the middle. Clarence K, first down at the 40. K, 35. K, still up at the 30. Clarence K down to the 27-yard line at the 27. The give to Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker down to the 20-yard line before a gang of Rebels. Pull. Second down and four yards to go. Pitch to Walker. Walker at the 15 and dropped at the 14. It is a first and 10 at the 14. Barry Young squeezes for a couple of yards. Lastinger, John Lastinger to the one-yard line. The power eye formation now. They put a man in motion, and they pitch to Herschel, and he's got the touchdown. Herschel Walker goes one yard for the touchdown, his second TD of the day. And Georgia has broken out 26-10. The holder, the kick is down. It is up. It is automatic. And Georgia leading Mississippi now with five minutes, 58 seconds left in the third quarter. It's the Bulldogs 27, the Rebels 10. Cunningham and Skip Lane. The sun is out. The football is in the end zone. Dropped and will be down by Lane. First and 10, Mississippi. They now have Powell in at quarterback. They run the reverse. Harbor, Harbor, he picks up three or four yards, second down and seven. A little quick draw. And he is dropped for a yard or two lost. 60 has always been a number of good linebacker. Powell, over the middle and complete for the first down at the 39. Harmon takes it in. Five receptions, those 85 yards would be enough for most receivers for the whole day. Powell is back, looking deep across the middle and complete at the 35-yard line. Tony Flack making the stop. Look at this formation. Now they shift back to the eye. They show it to you, then get out of it. Thomas. You're right, it looks like the Cowboys formations and they shift to something else. They give to Thomas, he's at the 30, gets loose down to the 27-yard line. Third down and three, big play. 
Big play, Mississippi. And the pitch out to Thomas. Thomas trying the corner. He does not make it. Thomas nailed for a yard gain. It'll bring up a fourth down. As Powell, the quarterback, looking to pass on the fourth down. Intercepted by Terry Hogue. Hogue out of bounds at the 32-yard line. His second interception at the 32-yard line. Lastinger all the way at quarterback. Now John Lastinger looking to the sideline and overthrows it out of bounds. And a new center in. It's Keith Johnson, a freshman in at center. And the pass goes to Clarence K. Complete at the 36 on a one-handed grab. Uh, Clarence K. has some very soft hands. Third down to give to Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker short of the first down. Harmon awaiting the punt. Here it comes. Broadway's punt to the far side. It will bounce and go out of bounds at the 19-yard line. And that is where Mississippi will take over. First and 10. Mississippi has a new quarterback in, Austin. And he's dropped at the five-yard line by Kenny Sims. Kenny Sims, second down, 23 yards to go. There's the man that made the big play. Split backs, draw. Gives it off to Humphrey. Humphrey run out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Third down, 17. Hooper and Humphrey behind Austin. Austin looks deep. Going to go deep. Sanchez may have... Intercepted. Now the, the interception by Ronnie Harris. After the ball. Scott Williams now in at fullback for Georgia as Lassinger pitches out to Herschel. Walker, 45. Walker down to the 43-yard line. That is the end of the third quarter. Georgia in the lead, 27 to 10, as we start the fourth quarter of play. Scott Williams, the fullback, gets the call and the football and the first down behind the new fullback, Williams. And they give to Williams, and he squirms for three. They give to Walker. And Marker's down as Herschel crosses the 35. Holding against the Bulldogs. Who you can really depend on. Second down and 12. Lastinger looks over the middle to Chuck Jones and it is broken up. Of Lastinger. Lastinger looks deep. He's got Norris Brown and he has the football. Norris Brown out of bounds at the nine yard line. First and goal at the nine yard line. The pitch to Walker. Walker's got speed and he will trot in now for the touchdown. Herschel Walker gives the burst of speed that clears the tacklers and goes in. If he gets another touchdown, I think his record is four in one game. And so he has three now. The extra point is missed by Butler. Kevin Butler has missed the extra point. And so with 13 minutes, 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter, Georgia 33, Ole Miss 10. Seven minutes, 23 seconds left as Ole Miss has the football first and 10 at their own 20, trailing by 23 points. Powell is in the football game now, and he drops it over here to Arthur Humphrey, the fullback. Second down and five yards to go. Powell drops it out here, and his man has a first down and plenty more. James Harbor. Injured on the play. First and 10. Humphrey. Humphrey gets two. Humphrey two yards, the deep backs. Powell's pass is caught at the 46-yard line. Third down and four for Mississippi. The gift to Humphrey. Humphrey close to the first down. Kenny Sims making the stop. Fourth and one. Thomas, and he has the first down. Thomas has the first down as 10 points have been allowed for Mississippi. Here's the quick pass over the middle, and it's intercepted by Jeff Sanchez. Jeff Sanchez has picked off another pass. All right, first and 10. Todd Williams is in at quarterback now. Lasting her out, and Todd Williams in to run the Georgia offense. Carney Norris gets the football and gets eight yards on the play. He probably will not see any more action 
Todd Williams pitches out to Carney Norris. Carney Norris has speed, and he's up to the 46-yard line of Mississippi State. Keith Montgomery now in at tailback for Georgia. And they give to Scott Williams the fullback. Second down and four. <laughs> Todd Williams keeps. Todd Williams close and maybe the first down. About to see his team go two and three. Came into the game two and two. George will have another Southeastern Conference victory. George Williams at quarterback. And they give to Keith Montgomery. Montgomery for three or four. 13. The pitch to Carney Norris. Norris hit after a two-yard gain. It'll be third down and 11. Third down and 11. It was Freddie Nunn. Williams' pass is almost picked off. That's intended for Mike uh, Wilson, I believe. No. Fourth and 11. George is going for it. Todd Williams looking, looking, and it is intercepted at the 21-yard line. James Otis intercepts Todd Williams' pass and 56 seconds left in the game and it is first and 10 after the interception. This is Austin, the quarterback, looking, looking, and it is incomplete in and out of the hands of his receiver. 20, uh, 33 to 10, Georgia leading, Mississippi. Austin, Austin over the middle and it is complete to Michael Smith, the tight end. 28 seconds, 27 seconds, Austin. Austin over the middle, and it is complete for the first down at the 37-yard line. This Mississippi. Austin drops across the middle to Smith again, this time midfield for another first down. And only 12 seconds left on the clock. First and 10, and Austin is looking over to the sideline, and he has his man, and he's out of bounds. James Harbor, first and 10. Austin, 190 yards passing, and he's looking at a first and 10, but with only six seconds to go from the 31-yard line. He's looking for the home run ball, and it is intercepted. Andre Holmes. Andre Holmes has intercepted the football. And Andre Holmes intercepts, the clock runs out, and the final score from Sanford Stadium as Vince Dooley is talking to Steve Sloan at midfield. Final score, Georgia 33, Ole Miss 10. We'll be back with a wrap-up right after this.